This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I wanted to cover this video that just came out by Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj. Two people I've exposed many times over. Everybody's aware of their background. Nicki Minaj, the Satanist, Ariana Grande, the sex slave, MK Ultra, Kitten, who is programming so many young children out there, so many young teens. And again, you're going to see from the name of the song, which is called The Light is Coming, that this is a reference to Lucifer. This is a reference to what is to come, the arrival of the Antichrist, the New World Order, and the eventual worshiping of the Antichrist, which they're preparing everybody to do. Now, some people hear that and they say, well, Jesus is the light. Well, that's true. We do believe as Christians that Jesus is the light of the world. The Bible tells us this. But remember, they look at everything in reverse. They believe that Lucifer is the light, right? That's what they truly believe. Remember that they are taught in Freemasonry and many of these secret societies, even through Albert Pike's teachings, that Lucifer, quote, Lucifer the light bearer, strange and mysterious name to give to the spirit of darkness, Lucifer, the son of the morning, it is he who bears the light, and with its splendors intolerable, blinds, feeble, sensual, or selfish souls, doubt it not. Okay, because they believe that Lucifer is the true light, and they believe that the God of the Bible is an evil God. They do everything inverted. Everything is opposite. Remember, I did a video called Lights. I referenced all of the songs from Kanye West to many other popular musicians who had songs called Light, just like there are many songs that reference magic, okay? This isn't these artists just going, hey, I want to have a song about magic, even though there's 500 songs about magic, or hey, I want to have a song about light because I love Thomas Edison. Hey, are you a fan of light bulbs? Okay, these people aren't just making songs about light because they're huge fans of the light bulb. They don't spend their days staring at the lamps in their home, collecting lamps and chandeliers. They are referencing Lucifer, who to them is the light bearer. Now, remember the television show, which I've exposed numerous times, called Lucifer. In this show, Lucifer's last name is Morningstar. They reference Lucifer as being the Morningstar. Everything is inverted, but people hear this stuff. And they go, oh, well, Ariana Grande, the light is coming. And they don't think twice about it, right? And this, if you listen, is probably one of the worst songs you could ever hear. It is so awful and stupid. And all it is is just repetition because my control, the key to it is repetition. And they just keep saying the same thing over and over in this song, which is the line, you wouldn't let anybody speak. And instead, the light is coming to give back everything the darkness stole. Again, remember, it's inverted. So they're referring to God, our God, our Father, as darkness, and their father, Lucifer, as light. This is part of the deception that's going on. People are going to fall for this because they use the term God, and people automatically will think they're referring to the God of the Bible or referring to Jesus Christ, when in fact they are not. They are referencing Lucifer. There's another verse in this song where she says, doing things that trouble clings to and burns off our wings, right? Referencing the fallen angels and the wings of the fallen angels burning off our wings, admitting that these people worship the fallen angels and that they're one with them. So again, the main chorus, which she says, about 50 times in the song is that the light is coming to give back everything that darkness stole, right? And she says, stole, stole. You wouldn't let anybody speak. And instead, the light is coming to give back everything that darkness stole. Now, people will hear this. They think that the song is about a boyfriend and a girlfriend breaking up, right? This is some of the deception that goes on in these videos. People think, oh, she's talking about some type of tragic breakup that she had. No, that's not what they're talking about. 99.9, or I should just say 100% of these songs, are referencing Scripture. They're referencing the Bible. These are biblical. Okay, the enemy for these people is us. The enemy is God and his followers. The enemy is Jesus Christ. 
Remember that. So as the video starts, it's not a deep video. This isn't one of those videos where there's tons of symbols in it because it's pretty much them out in the pitch black in the woods, which isn't a surprise, right? Like Taylor Swift's coming out of the woods because remember, when they reference coming out of the woods or they show themselves in the woods waiting for the light to arrive like they do in this video, they're referencing them coming out of the woods and now being it brought into the light because the things that are in darkness are going to be brought into the light. And that goes for witches and Satanists and all of these people who worship Lucifer. So the first thing you'll see, though, in the video, of course, is Nicki Minaj, who has you know, done videos with Ariana Grande before. And what is she wearing? What a surprise, right? She's wearing black and white. I mean, you don't even have to think about it. You know, you know it's coming in these videos one way or the other. They're going to have the Masonic black and white colors. And there it is, right? She's got the black and white shirt on. Oh, I guess it's just another coincidence. It's another video where they're wearing it or they're deliberately showing it. Remember, she didn't just go into her closet and say, hey, I'd love to wear this black and white shirt that I picked up at JCPenney. Okay? They tell them what to wear. They prop these videos. These artists are puppets. But don't feel you know sympathy for them because they've chosen this path, the majority of them. If not all of them have chosen this path, because even if they're born into these things, God has given us free will, despite the mind control that is put over these people. Now, as she's speaking, we see Ariana Grande come out of the woods holding a crystal ball, right? I wonder what the crystal ball represents. That couldn't have anything to do with witchcraft, right? If you research the crystal ball, they talk about the crystal ball being powerful and ever-present when we think of spiritual mysticism, right? They go on to say, we think of it not only as a means of finding insight, but also a firmly rooted image, given that magic and witchcraft are seeing a surge in popularity. And you see the crystal ball in you know movies like The Wizard of Oz and Disney films, right? They've indoctrinated people with this for a long, long time. The crystal ball, right? It's for empowerment and guidance, they claim. But they also say that it's for the all-seeing eye into the future that they use the crystal ball for. Remember David Bowie and Labyrinth? Okay, it's all over pop culture that you see this stuff. It's all over the cartoons. They talk about this stuff. They have mediums who use the crystal ball. This is just an indoctrination. The crystal ball is used in sorcery and witchcraft, period. So she comes out of the woods and she's carrying this thing around, you know, and this is representing the light. Because remember, to them, oh, the light is coming from, from Lucifer. Because Lucifer to them, once again, is the light bearer. That's what they believe. So as the video goes on, you'll see Ariana Grande in the woods. It's pitch black. She's using the orb. And then suddenly everything goes to red. Because the arrival has come. The arrival of the Antichrist. Everything turns into a red mist, a red fog. Right. And now he's here. Now she doesn't have the crystal ball anymore. She doesn't need the crystal ball anymore. Right. Because the light has arrived, the light being represented as Lucifer. And you can see all the lights and this neon in the background. And then suddenly she's surrounded by orbs. Most people are aware that orbs represents represent demons and spirits. Right. You see orbs and photographs and stuff like that. People always think that it's like a demon or a spirit, but orbs do represent demons and spirits. You can see her surrounded by it as the red glow follows her. Okay. And that's the whole music video. And someone's going to think that this is about, you know, a breakup or, Hey, you know, something happened with her and this guy. And now suddenly out of nowhere, Ariana Grande is saying the light's coming to give back everything. The darkness stole. Huh? Okay, this is all these songs are cryptic like this. The videos, all of it. It has nothing to do with what you think. They are abiding by universal law. Universal law where they are they have to reveal themselves. They're just doing it through mind control. They've dumbed down the masses. They've conditioned everybody into thinking this stuff is normal and it's not real by putting it in every cartoon from Disney, putting it in every movie. I mean, you can name hundreds of movies about witchcraft, okay, and occult worship. Off the top of your head, just go from, you know, Cinderella, magic, Snow White, magic, Harry Potter, magic, right? Aladdin, the genie, magic, 
Beauty and the Beast, the magic rose, the spell from the rose, spells, magic, magic, spells, all over the place. And you have, you know, two of the same puppets. Grande, I believe, is from Nickelodeon, you know, the Nickelodeon background. And they bring these people up for a reason. They come through as child stars and become adult stars because they bring that following with them as they age and as these people transform from, oh, you know, nice teen girl to 20-year-old skank, the audience who follows them also transitions with them. That's the point. Okay? And you see Nicki Minaj, someone who openly admits to having multiple personalities, but everybody thinks that that's normal. Hey, she's got multiple names, and she gets possessed by a demon named Roman, and we're supposed to just, we're supposed to just be like, oh, okay, cool, that's just artistic. And that's exactly what people do. Nobody goes, uh, everything all right? Right? We got padded rooms around this country that don't get used, and I've said it a million times because they're saving them for people like us, people who are actually understanding of what's going on. They're going to throw us in the padded room because we don't believe or live in this alternate reality that they've created. So this is Ariana Grande, another song about the light, and now they're just flat out letting you know that the light is coming, but nobody understands what they're referencing. They're referencing the arrival of the Antichrist. These people worship Lucifer. Remember, like I said in the beginning of the video, don't be deceived when you hear the name God, when these people talk about God. Or the light. They're not talking about the God of the Bible. They are not talking about Jesus Christ when they reference light bearer. Okay, just like I said, the TV show Lucifer's last name is Morningstar. They believe that Lucifer is the son of the morning. It is he who bears the light. And with its splendors, intolerable blinds, feeble for traditions are full of sensual or selfish souls. Doubt it not. Okay, these are the words of Albert Pike. Lucifer, the light bearer. And this is what these people believe. And you can see, again, Minaj in her black and white clothing. Must be another coincidence, right, folks? Unbelievable. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.